What's up everyone? Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like and subscribe and then hit the real subscribe button, which is the bell icon. We're posting four videos every day, so make sure to check back every single day. We've just hit 20k subscribers, so thank you all so, so much. Let's get to 30k and get a deal in the description if you haven't already. Plenty of free crypto and goodies down there. This is not financial advice. Welcome to Crypto Maximalist. Let's begin. What's up guys, so just before we begin, make sure to hit the subscribe and the bell icon. People aren't seeing our content and this is probably because you haven't hit the bell icon. Thank you again for all your support. The algorithm is slamming a lot of content creators right now, so we really appreciate all your support. And we're so proud of the amazing community that we've built. So make sure to jump into the Telegram and the free Discord. So we're just taking a really quick look at Veracity here and as we can see, it's looking as though it, you know, it's come down back into the middle of the range here and it's chilling for a little while, hasn't it? For the past few days you can see. We basically had that really nice breakout, didn't we, of this resistance that we were talking about quite clearly. You can see coming down, 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 stuck under this resistance. We come into a kind of range here, which we did say would be retested if we broke out. On the hourly time frame here, you can see quite clearly what's happened here. We broke out the first range, but we kind of came back inside it, didn't we? Out of that first resistance, sorry. We come back out again, we get the double bottom back test at the bottom of the range and retesting that resistance breakout as support again. And you can see we did actually get the breakout of the secondary resistance, which was this resistance here. Where we come down, you can see multiple areas here where this resistance was tested. We come, we get the breakout and the back test of that resistance again as support, the secondary resistance. And then after that, with the market having a decent run back to the upside and back to the top of the range for Bitcoin, you can see Veracity doing the same thing. It come all the way up from around that area, um, three, uh, what is that, 3.25 cents there? Three and a quarter cents that it come all the way up here to around that 4.3 cent level at the top of the range. You can see quite clearly, we actually outlined this range before it even happened. We come up to here, we find resistance, we come back down, retest that previous swing high area of resistance to support. We try again, but obviously with the market rolling over, we see Veracity come back down now, back into the range. And you can see here zooming in, that's basically exactly what's happened. The breakout, the back test, top of the range, top of the range again. We swing, we obviously get that swing failure pattern of the top of the range, so we come back in. We basically come back down towards that 078 Fibonacci level. And that's currently, you know, the kind of area that we're consolidating in. We're just having a creating a bit of structure in this area, aren't we? Just under this resistance. So not really much to say about veracity in the short term. Looking like it's still consolidating, as you can see, basically just going sideways here, aren't we? Consolidating, accumulating for another move to the upside once alts do start to explode. We do think veracity is going to do extremely well in the long term. This is a project that has got great fundamentals now. And it's probably going to see an explosion, in our opinion, going into, you know, the first few months of 2022 with an altcoin season. So short term price predictions, as we always say, if we roll into the bottom to the downside, we're coming down, down to the bottom of this range at about, what is that, 3.1 cents there. And then obviously targeting the top of the range if we're moving up towards that 4.3 cent level and then trying to get that breakout towards this final resistance. You can see here that we do want to be targeting at around that 4.8 to 5 cent level. So around here and then obviously by the end of the bull run, as we said, we do think 50 cents to $1 for Veracity is very, very possible in our opinion. Obviously a top, top quality project, as we said. And we do think that it's going to do very well in the next few months. So I'd like to thank everyone so much for their support. If you've got any questions or suggestions, please leave them down below. And don't forget to subscribe and then hit the real subscribe button, which is the bell icon to stay up to date with four videos we post every single day. Remember, if you want to support the channel more directly and get a ton of benefits and insight, as well as joining our growing community, consider the Patreon or YouTube membership down below. There are three tiers giving you access to our private Discord. Crypto support is available if you just want to help us out a small amount. Crypto Maximalist is our main tier, which gives you access to detailed daily technical analysis and signals, weekly and monthly coin calls, and insights into our personal moves, while Maximalist Gold takes it a step further giving you an insight into our personal portfolio tracker, super low cap gem research, and a 100x portfolio we're constructing and updating, and access to us personally as a resource to discuss your portfolio via Messenger. Make sure to check it out. You can also sign up to our free Telegram and public Discord via the description as well. All the links are in the description for affiliate links for discounts and free crypto, so go check them all out below. There's plenty of goodness on offer. Please like and subscribe. We are... Crypto Maximus.